I would never buy anything other than a Blaze King. I'm a wood stove guru. I love burning wood. I love that feel in the house. I wouldn't trade it for anything, especially after working on a hard day outside in the rain. You don't need to run around, you know? When it's snowing, raining outside, I don't want to be outside chopping firewood, messing around. I, I can pretty much plan around good days because I'll probably keep about a, like a tenth of a cord inside my house. When they're running, you don't see anything coming out of the chimney at all. It's amazing when people come over like, holy, your house is nice and cozy. It feels like a wood stove, but I didn't see any smoke or anything outside. Well, that's the, the catalyst doing his job, producing that incredibly efficient burn. Let's talk about the basic function of this thing. Basically what you want to do, get it nice and warm warm into the operating temperature so you'll see the thermostat up top here there's an inactive and an active zone so basically when that catalyst hits the active zone you're now into the point of combustion that the catalyst is warmed up and that heat is able to be igniting that secondary burn because of all the gases that are coming off of your fire which of course is why you get such high energy and environmental ratings on these things it says 1.1 grams per hour uh, of particulate so it's it tells you how efficient it is there's virtually no smoke coming out of these things when you get them burning efficiently but really you set your thermostat on this thing once which is a little knob at the back here and all you're gonna be doing when you're playing with this thing moving it tiny tiny little bit to dial in that secondary burn and it's amazing how responsive it is if you turn that thermostat up this thing's gonna ignite the fire get up to the new temperature and then it's gonna die back down again really messes with you the first time you fire these things up because you think your fires going out you really don't see a lot of action down in the primary fire, but if you look up in the top, this thing will be glowing red hot and it's doing that secondary burn, burning all the gases, keeping an efficient burn going up top. It has an incredible viewing glass on the front of this thing. It's not like a traditionally burnt fire. You're gonna be seeing flames kind of kicking in and swirling up. It really is an amazing thing to watch. And once you find that sweet spot and you figure out the intimacies of your wood stove, and, and I say that truly because you're gonna find out how this thing burns and you're gonna leave it. You're not gonna be touching the dials. You're not gonna be playing with it. It really is getting up into that operating temperature and it's gonna stay there for the advertised 40 hours. I'd say functionally, you're gonna be getting 24 hours out of this thing before you need to stock it up. My thing is one heaping wheelbarrow. Now I'm a pretty big guy, so it is a, it is a heaping wheelbarrow when I say that. It lasts me about five days, which of course in the winter time, you're gonna be getting a lot of people burning that in a single day in a non-catalyst stove. The requirements for installing this are a little bit more finicky than you'd see in a traditional wood stove. You'll see it has minimum requirements for the chimney coming out the top. I want to say it's 24 inch minimum straight up just so you're getting that draft. You don't want to mess with it and have a bunch of angles happening and doing all sorts of turns right off the bat. But that being said, you can get away with some things. You just got to be mindful of it because you really uh, want that, that flow to be pulling through the catalyst well and drafting because the temperatures of course, in the chimney aren't going to be as high as they would be with a standard wood burner. Uh, that catalyst really burns up all that gas down low in the unit, keeps that heat inside of your home and not just sending it straight out the chimney. What I would say with the Blaze Kings is you need to be mindful of the situation. Like I wanted to throw this big guy in, it probably would have been too big for my house. And I say that because once it hits a certain temperature, that thermostat's gonna close off. It can actually damp the fire down to a point that it's not gonna be putting off enough heat to keep that catalyst going. So there really is a sweet spot for temperature range and what you're using the stove for. Of course, if you're placing it on concrete or in a basement, there's all sorts of things you want to keep in mind uh, just to not be overworking the catalyst um, or almost worse, underworking the catalyst. So we'll go through the startup cycles. I prefer the top-down method. So what that means is I load up the bottom with some bigger logs. A lot of people like to start with little kindling. But what I find, load the base with a couple layers of good-sized logs chopped into six-inch rounds or something like that. And then I build the kindling base on top of that. And then all the ashes and whatnot fall down and ignite the fire substantially faster. So I love doing it that way. Of course, I'm keeping an eye on the thermostat. And once it gets into that active zone, you reach over here and you grab this manly handle, click that down. That totally shuts off the primary flu and now is drawing all the air through the catalyst. So you're gonna see that catalyst up there start glowing red hot and you'll be able to see the fire uh, characteristics change almost right away. In that case, I'm monitoring it for where it's standing. If I got a bunch of doors and windows open, this thing's automatically gonna crank up, open up that thermostat, allow more air through. So it really is plug and play. You're not messing with a little pole down here that's changing the airflow for the primary combustion. The magic happens up in that catalyst. Reach out to Fireplaces by Cameron. Email on our website. 
website or a phone call and we can point you in the right direction for the most efficient wood burning stove on the planet.